What's up, YouTube family? I know I've been a little MIA again. Last week kind of blew it, but so much is going on. I've been paying so much attention to self-care right now. Things have been really rough the last couple of weeks, and I've just been working so much and truthfully working on another YouTube channel. If you follow my social media, you probably know already what it is, but today I'm going to talk about packing. I've definitely talked about packing in previous videos, and I've reviewed different, you know, packers and SDBs, and honestly, I just wanted to update you because things have been really weird with me, and packing as of, I don't know, the last like, two months or so, maybe even a little bit more than that. So I used to pack 24-7. Like, I, I couldn't function without wearing a packer of any kind. I just felt so dysphoric. And I mean, as time goes on, my bottom dysphoria just seems to get worse and worse. I was hoping kind of after top surgery that it would get better. And it just, it didn't, because it's a different part of my body. It's a different section of my body. So um, it's something that I still struggle with on a moment to moment basis. Some days are worse than others which brings me to kind of an update of where things have been at. So basically now I I actually go certain days or hours without packing. Um, part of this is because I kind of just like got frustrated with the fact that I kept destroying packers or figuring out that it wasn't the one that worked for me. The last packer that I used, I believe, was the Vixen. I might have done a review about it so you can go back in my videos and see, but I loved that packer. It was gifted to me and it broke it. I mean, I, I it broke. I don't know how. I'm guessing it just wore down because I wear it 24-7. I really need something that is going to always be there with me because when I wake up, don't want the first thought in my mind to be bottom dysphoria. I've I realized that when I pack overnight and I wake up, I'm less likely to have that be the first thought in my mind. It really does work for me. Uh, but once that broke, I kind of got defeated. I didn't really have the funds to get a new one. I then picked up the Jimmy STP and I swore to myself that I was like going to wear this thing around and just get used to it and then start trying to use it. And I've honestly just not had the time or emotional energy to go on that journey. It really takes a lot for me to start testing out a new STP. It's just emotionally and physically draining. It seems like such a little thing if you don't have bottom dysphoria or if you've never tried using an STP, but it's a, it's a thing. Like People get more dysphoric sometimes from packing or using STPs for various reasons. For me, it can happen when I'm trying out STPs because it often doesn't work and I have to be like super focused about it. I'm constantly worried whether I'm going to pee myself and I haven't even made it to a urinal and that was kind of like the whole point. Now I've been transitioning for two years going October 1st and I will have not gone to pee at a urinal and that's really upsetting to me. That's something that I've been wanting for a really, really, really long time. <laughs> like, it's way before I could I could have ever identified as trans. Just even as a kid, I don't know why I always wanted to go to a urinal. I mean, now I know why, but I didn't know then. So I guess I'm at this point where I'm kind of thinking about not using STPs anymore or maybe just kind of giving it one solid try and saying, look, I'm going to push through this to try to use this STP because a lot of people are saying great things about this STP and I've tried all the others and they didn't work for me. Um, it would be amazing if this did. And I have, you know, I have a friend who used it like that, like it worked for them straight away. So it does give me hope that this is a good STP. It's just a matter of whether it's the good STP for me. And if not, you know, I'm thinking that I might, when I can, get a new packer just because I do really feel like I need something there. But it is interesting that I'll go days now without wearing one, 
And um, it's something that I've become very aware of. Like some days I just will be so out of it or so much in a rush that I won't wear one or I'll be wearing tighter like pants and I'll just decide that I'm not gonna go through with it because it doesn't matter. I, I don't know. You know, it's like in one way I think no one's looking and in other ways I think someone's looking because you know, I am out there meeting people, and I want to feel attractive. I want to feel myself. I want to feel connected to my body. It's really hard to connect to someone else and someone else's body when I can't fully connect with mine. So I'm working through it. I just wanted to kind of give you an update because I think it's really interesting. I never kind of imagined myself kind of like going out with Backer because sometimes I'm without a Packer and STP and I'm okay and I'm kind of like wow like I was okay today without that so you know it does change day to day I think there's this conception that or this misconception that everyone sort of who's dysphoric is just like dysphoric all the time and that's not really the case um, I can't speak for everybody though I can speak for myself and you know Although I'm dysphoric all the time, I'm not thinking about it 24-7 anymore. If I'm in the midst of having conversation with you, chances are I'm not thinking about how dysphoric I am. I mean, it's possible. But I mean, if I'm distracted enough and I'm in my element or I'm enjoying something else, then I might not be thinking about it. So, you know, there's also days where I feel more dysphoric than others. And, you know, now I've pretty much most of the time go without even sleeping with um, a packer even regardless if I wear something during the day just because I'm so worried about breaking anything now but I would really like something to wear 24 7 and honestly I really just want bottom surgery but I don't feel like I'm there yet and that surgeons are where you know I want them to be like I need to wait a little bit uh, I need to get a histo beforehand anyway so I'm going to be on a mission to looking for a doctor and getting that done when I can and go from there but thanks for listening if you have bottom dysphoria and you know you've gone without packers or you have to wear it all the time or SCP whatever you want to say down below please do anything related to bottom dysphoria I would really love to chat with you about it it's something that bothers me and I know it affects a lot of different people and I want to be there to support you so catch you in the next one